Andy Walker here from Butterscotch.com here at CES 2011. You know what, I just found uh, the most intelligent packaging going here with Brett from Fulton Innovation. Brett, you've done some really interesting things with packaging and smart packages talking to devices. Tell me a little bit about what you guys have done here. Okay, well we started out working on consumer electronics um, and we've, we've worked hard on the CHI standard for, for electronic components and consumer electronics and phones and so forth. But then there's also applications for packaging where we can bring packaging into the market so the packaging talks to talks to the consumer. Excuse me, sir. So now the packaging is communicating with the consumer. Then when the consumer buys that package, they take it home. Then it can com communicate with their systems at home. So as I put this on my shelf at home, I now know that I have Honey Nut Cheerios. And if I push on that, I now know what's in the box. And as that gets depleted, it can add it to my shopping list at a in a week from now. Now how does the system know how much, how many Cheerios are in the actual box? Well it's, it's programmed in no different than barcode has information on it. We put information on the information on, in the printed inks in the box to tell us how much should be there and how much is left. So it knows that there should be uh, 347 grams of Cheerios. Correct. So when it gets to half that it says it's half full. And then your system would tell you, no different than your other applications would say, hey, you're half out. If I'm at a halfway point, put it on my shopping list. Amazing. How did you get the, 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 the thing to glow? Uh, it's, it's all done through inductive inks. Yes. And, and which have been around for years. Yeah. The trouble with it is, how do I get power to a package? And that's where inductive coupling and intelligent wireless power come into play. So this actual unit here would actually be on the, the store shelf. That's correct. It would be powered be embedded in the surface. And it would be talking to the box directly. Yes. Okay, and then I lift it up and go, I'm going to buy this. Yep. And I'm going to take it home. Now I'm going to set it there. Here. Now I'm going to know I've got Honey Nut Cheerios at home. Right. Think of this as your visual screen that you see now on your refrigerator or on, it might be on a, on a cupboard door. Right. And now it's going to upload and it's going to take that information. It can upload it to a screen that's in your in your kitchen. Right. Or it can upload it to your smartphone. Right, right. It says, you know, you need more Honey Nut Cheerios. Exactly. Exactly. No, that's actually real Cheerios in there. That's hilarious. Now, talk to me about this the soup technology. This is really clever here. This is okay. a chunky soup demo. Same, same concept. Yeah. We put we put inductive coupling and intelligence into the packaging. Yeah. Is we see anything at the bottom? Oh, there's, no, there's water in here, so be okay, careful. Okay, so I'll be careful. You really can't. We've no. done a we've done a prototype of this, yeah. and what it allows you to do is select the power level. I yes. want to heat this to low. Maybe it's one of my small children that want to have it. Yeah. So I want it lukewarm, not hot. Yeah. I like soup. I like soup hot. Yeah. So I would pick a hot setting. Yeah. And then you would set it on an enabled surface. Right. And now you would select the power level and bring the temperature up. Unbelievable. What, what's amazing about this is it's more efficient and faster than using your microwave. Right. The packaging applications are less expensive because I don't have to worry about a plastic ring to protect the metal right. from the microwave. Right. And so our, our goal, we're a technology company, we want to show the capabilities from consumer electronics to packaging, and we'll be charging a Tesla in our booth. Oh yeah. So the so the full applications of very very low power requirements to very very high at one and a half kilowatts, and we're charging it as if we're charging it through a manhole cover. Amazing. H how long until we see this on the marketplace? Consumer electronics, you'll start to hear announcements as early as this week. Yes. And and that's based on a Qi standard, which we worked very very hard on. Yeah. And so that's coming out now. The rest of the stuff is talking a little more into the future. The packaging and so forth. Yeah. The automobile. That's where we think. Uh, wireless power and, and consumers are going to interact over their lifetime. Wow. So it's telling the whole story, not just one segment of it, which right now is consumer electronics. Where can we find out more information? Uh, you can go to our website, FultonInnovation.com or eCoupled.com, yeah. or you can go to the Wireless Power Consortium website as well. Very good. Brett, thank you so much for the information. Thanks, Andy. Good luck with this technology. Good. There you go, smart packaging and all kinds of other cool stuff for consumer packaged goods here at CES 2011.